American Airlines and U.S. Airways are looking to merge and create the world's largest airline, but the U.S. Department of Justice is putting a bump in those plans. The Justice Department, along with attorney generals from Arizona, Florida, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Texas, and Virginia, filed suit against the airlines in federal district court Tuesday. The Justice Department, as always, wants to be certain that the merger of AMR and U.S. Airways will not restrict competition and cause consumers to pay higher prices. The $11 billion merger would mean four major airlines would control 80% of U.S. air travel. But some in the airline industry disagree with the Justice Department's concerns. In the long run, you do consumers harm as well because instead of having three effective competitors, you've got two effective competitors and, and two people that simply are not big enough. The merger has already been approved by European officials, so news of this U.S. lawsuit shocked both companies' stockholders and caused panic, tanking stocks at the possibility of the long-awaited merger falling apart. A writer for CNN says the lawsuit is a surprise. In recent years, the Justice Department has allowed other big airline mergers, Delta gobbled up Northwest, and United absorbed Continental, in part because the airline industry was losing so much money and the mergers were seen as necessary for survival. American Airlines filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2011 and hope the merger will get the company out of the red. American Airlines and U.S. Airways announced plans to merge in February. For Newsy, I'm Matt Moreno.